Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going through Cambridge Primary Checkpoint uh, Paper 1 uh, from April 2024, right? So, uh, here you can see the instructions. So here we have question number one. Um, before we start, I would request you guys, if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and uh, comment in the comment box about your feedback. I will eagerly wait for that. Uh, so let us start. The first question we have here, Olivier draws a rectangle on a coordinate grid. Uh, he labeled the vertices as A, B, C, D. You can see A, B, C, D here. Mm, the question is Olivier translates the rectangle 4 squares down. So, 4 squares down. So, we are going to uh, write the new coordinates of point B. So, there is no need actually to draw. Uh, so, we are just going to uh, actually uh, write the new coordinates of B. So, every coordinate is going to shift it like 4 squares down 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, this is going to be the new coordinate of B. Let me uh, write it down as B dash. So, the coordinates here if you can see here if you go down here. So, we have 5 x is 5 and on left hand side if you go here you see uh, y is 2. So, answer is 5 and 2. So, we are going to write down here 5 and 2 right. Now, the next one Mia has a bar of chocolate. She eats 3 by 4 of the bar of the chocolate. Mia says I have 3 by 4 of my bar of chocolate left for later. Uh, Mia is not correct. Explain how do you know. So, if you can see she said like she eats 3 by uh, 4. So, what is left? She is left with 1 minus 3 over 4 which is 4 minus 3 over 4 that is 1 over 4 but she is saying 3 by 4. So, that means she is not correct. So, we will write on because uh, she uh, the leftover is what she is left is 1 minus 3 over 4 uh, which is 1 over 4. So, that is why she is wrong. Okay. Now, number 3 Angelic decorates her garden uh, with two set of light bulbs. Uh, one set of light bulb have length of 7.35 meters, the other set has length of 3.62 meters. Calculate total length of two set of lights. So, total length we are just going to add nothing else here. Uh, so, it is 3.62 plus 7.35. 5 plus 2 7, 6 plus 3 9, 7 plus 3 is 10. This is 10.97. Okay, so 10.97. Now, number 4, uh, here is a number 38.04 multiply number by 1000. So, we are going to multiply this by 1000. So, when you multiply here by 1000, so this is going to become 3804, then there are 3 zeros 1, 2, 3 and 2 decimal places decimal is here, these 2 zeros are gone. So, we have 38040 is the final answer. right? Now, number 5, here are 4 calculations. Uh, draw a ring around the calculation uh, that is equivalent to 0 0.9. As this is paper 1, we cannot use calculator. You have to make these calculations on your own. Then this is going to be 90, 4 times 9. Uh, so, this is going to be uh, 0 0.09 as there is a uh, decimal here. So, this is 9 and this is 0 0.9. So, draw a ring around the calculation which is equivalent to. So, we were going to put ring here right now calculate 34 3 uh, sorry 345 divided by 15 345 we are going to divide it by 15 so 15 times 2 is 30 so subtract it 45 15 times 3 is 45 and remainder is 0 so answer is 23 
Number 7, Rajiv records the vehicle that passes his house in uh, one morning. Here are the results. You can see vehicle and we have numbers here, car, motorbike, motorcycles, lorries, bicycle and uh, vans. Rajiv uh, records the result in a pie chart. Here is the pie chart and here is the key. Uh, the question is complete the key, right? complete the key of his pie chart. Now, we have to compare this information which is given to us and the key. So, if you can see cars is the biggest number right 200. So, that means this should be the cars ok. And then uh, we have given the van, van is already given and bicycle is given cars we have sorted it out right. So, vans and lorries have the same right van and lorry 100. So, if you see van is this one. So, if this is a van. So, what should be the lorry? Lorry should be this the uh, squared one, this is the lorry ok. So, then uh, what is left? We are done with lorries and we are left with the motor cycles now. Uh, so, bicycle this is bicycle and then this is going to be motorcycle right. So, I am going to write down here this is motorcycle. and this squared one is lorries bear with my handwriting guys lorries and then this one is cars okay now next number 8 pere has a 12 piece, uh, pieces of pizza uh, each piece is 1 by 8 of the whole uh, draw a ring around the total fraction of the pizza that he has so he has 1 by 8 of 12 right so 4 times 2 4 times 3 so this is 3 over 2 which is 1 and half so this is the one now, number 9, here are the net of some 3D shapes. You can see the net of the 3D shape here. Uh, draw a ring around the net of the prism. So, prism have two parallel sides, same. So, this and this you can see. So, this is the prism here, right. This is a pyramid, this is pyramid. Uh, this is not prism actually. So, we have all the triangles here. So, this is the prism here. Now, here is a circle it has eight equally spaced dots around the edge and one of them is a center. So, this one is center join three dots to draw a right angle triangle. So, if you draw this one here from here and this one then this is going to be 90. So, if you are taking these bigger one then uh, this center comes in uh, be, uh, in between there. So, then they become 4 dots, but we are allowed to join only 3 dots right. So, you can uh, choose center and other any other 2 dots uh, leaving one in the middle here. Now, number 11 here are set of cards you can see this is set A and then uh, other one is set B. Hassan picks one card from each set at random and he says I am equally likely to pick an even number from set A as I am uh, to pick even number from set B. So, we are talking about set A uh, sorry the even numbers from set A. So, even number here is only 1. So, probability is 1 out of 2 right. Here we have even number 46 and 82. So, that means 2 over 4 which is also 1 equivalent to 1 over 2. So, that means he is right. So, we can say if Hassan is correct yes he is correct. Uh, so, uh, that means uh, yeah, explain how you see we can say for set A the probability is 1 over 2 and also for set B uh, it is the probability is 2 over 4 which is 1 over 2 right. Now, next an aeroplane carries 269 passengers uh, each day calculate the total number of passengers. Uh, the aeroplane carries in 28 days. So, uh, we are looking for the uh, number of passengers carried in 28 days. So, in one day there are 269. So, we are just going to multiply 269 by 28. 9 times 8 is 72, we have 7. 8 times 6 48 plus 7 55, then we have 5 here. 
a times 2 16 plus 5 it is 21 then we will multiply by 2 uh, it is 8 then you just add this. So, this is the final answer right. So, we can write down here the final answer. Uh, so, next we have here are some quadrilaterals drawn on a dotted grid of squares. If you see then uh, the question is draw a ring around each quadrilateral with rotational symmetry of 2. So, rotational order uh, it is the symmetry when uh, you rotate a figure and you get same kind of figure when you around uh, make it around. Uh, turn around 360. So, these are the figures that have order of 2 right. Then number 4 we have here Safiya writes some cards um, draw a ring around all the cards that show equivalent value. So, we can write it down this is 4 over 10 which is equivalent to 2 over 5 this is already 2 over 5 and this if you cancel 2 4 2 5 it is 4 times 2 sorry 4 times 2 and this is also 2 over 5, uh, this is 1 over 25, right, this is 8 over 100, 8 over 100 4 times 2, 4 times 2 and then this is 40 over 100 which is 2 over 5. So, which are 2 over 5 here? So, we have this one, we have this here, we have this here and also this one right. So, put rings around all these numbers. Now, uh, use a pair of compass to draw a circle uh, with diameter 0, uh, 6 centimeter the center center is marked here. So, what do you need to do uh, here you just open your compass as 6 centimeters from here. So, then you just draw a uh, angle you must use your compass guys right. So, then we have here number 16 here is a coordinate grid uh, point A is marked on grid you can see write down the coordinates of point A. So, if you go down here for x values it is 1.5 and y is 3 right. Now, point B has coordinate uh, 4 and 0 0.5 plot B on this A uh, x is 4 and y 0 0.5. So, this is here. Now, number 17 Jam, uh, Jamila makes a shape with the uh, black and white counters so, write the percentage of the counter that are white. So, if you see here we have uh, like this way we have uh, how many are they 1 2 3 4 5 and this way we have 4. So, total is 20. So, out of 20 uh, 20 minus 4 are black they are 16. So, we have 16 white counters from uh, out of uh, 20 and how many will be out of 100 that will be the percentage 20 times 5 16 5 times 5 it is 80 percent ok. So, that is it for this video remaining question we are going to do in the next one. Thank you so much guys for watching kindly subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel see you in the next video.